First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most on the rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Shimro Kakwadash. I want to speak on, um, you know, some of the videos that I've been watching, you know, um, today. Okay, mainly um, this video appeared by um, Daily Edification 4, which is the Apostle Gabar, entitled, Examine a Sign of Prudence. Okay. And also, um, these two videos... Okay, mainly this one right here, Barack, GMS Barak Allah 12, which is the brother from um, L.A. And also the Holy Spirit of Discipline will flee deceit by, by GMS Vegan sit downs 144 Ga. And, um, you know, when you watch these type of videos back to back, you can't help but to reflect. Okay, to reflect on um, the truth, you know, especially your path. Okay. You know, um, Apostle Gabar and this brother right here from um, GMS Vegas sit downs are basically going in on this guy right here in the middle, Captain Tazariak of the ISUPK, and how he um, broke down a revelation, the ninth chapter, all wrong. Okay, and he, he, you know, basically they're rebuking him. You know, he's getting reproved. You know. And Apostle Gabar was saying in this video, examine, you know, you got to examine yourself and examine your doctrine, examine your walk. A real man of integrity would would, would have, you know, said, uh, you know, I'm not going to speak on that, you know, what, and um, kept it pushing, you know, come back with a later response when he had the answer and not just wing it, you know, and uh, the brother from Vegas had the same sentiment, you know, basically, um. The Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. And, 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 you know, when you come into the truth, you, you can't be full of deceit. You know, you can't, you know, think that you're going to be um, lukewarm. You know, and think you're going to hold the truth like these guys from ISUBK. You know, because the Holy Spirit will flee from you. You you know, you won't be able to uh, remember the word. You know, it won't, it won't come out and edify as it's supposed to. Why? Because you're not in the right spirit. Okay? So... And I wanted to speak on that, you know, as well as um, this brother right here from um, L.A. GMS Barack Allah 12. And this video, uh, remember this attention. OK, this brother also went into uh, how we are um, at war, you know, and how. Um, you know, basically, he, you know, he was speaking about, um, you know, having discipline. You know, putting away weak nature. Okay. Uh, being a brother, not lying to brothers, not uh, sowing discord and um, you know that brother uh was in the military. Um, from what I understand, you know, I actually met that brother too. Couple years back, and a brother he got a heavy spirit on him, man. Huh? Yeah, so th these are uh, apostles and camp heads. You know, when they speak, you can't help but to listen. You know, because you know they'll, they'll speak on things and come from um, a position or an angle, if you will, that you, you might not see. You know, you might not see it like that, but that's okay because that's really just you know the spirit on them to. Uh, Flat, uh, straighten out wrinkles, you know, and other brothers. That's why they're in positions. Okay, so, you know, th this truth is is meant to uh, correct. This truth is meant to repute, reprove someone. You know, th this 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 uh, truth, this ministry is to be taught in sincerity. Okay, with all integrity, and 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 honesty. You're supposed to be honest and upright about you know the the scriptures about the truth. So that's what this uh, video is going to be about. You know, I'm not too sure what I'm entitled it, but um, let's start here in the book of Proverbs 19 and 25. It says, smite a scorner and the simple will beware. Okay. And uh, that, that dude from uh, ISUPK, you know, he basically, he got, uh, he got reproved. 
Okay, he got set straight on on uh, not teaching the scriptures wrong. Okay, okay, and and, and they're scorners. You know, they they mock uh, the true messengers of Yahweh Bashem Yarshai. They mock the true message. You know, they think that um, you know this this truth is carnal. You know, they think that you can just wing it. You know, and wear some sunglasses and think that you 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 know you're you're super tough and you're super hard. Well. You know, that, that's not what this thing is about. It's not what this truth is about. It's not about coming in and bringing that old man with you. You know, and, and the brother uh, from L.A., he spoke about that. You know, putting off the old man, putting off weak nature. Okay. Why? Because you'll be uh, exposed. And the brother from Vegas spoke about that. And Apostle Kabar spoke about examining yourself, lest you be a reprobate. You know. You don't want to be a reprobate. You don't want to uh, come into the truth and really don't know what the hell you're doing, you know? So it says, smite a scorner in the simple world, beware, okay? So if, you know, someone that is watching, okay, these videos, all right, um, they see this, well, they're going to beware, okay? If they think that, you know, the truth is about glitz and glam and fame and, and whatever, that it's not, you know, they're ultimately going to see... A man like um, Tazariak and, and a, they're going to beware because they're going to see how he's getting reproved. It says, one that hath, it says, and reprove one that hath understanding and he will understand knowledge. And that's the thing. Uh, the brother Barak was uh, going into how, uh, you know, if you don't care what, if you don't like what I'm saying, I don't give a shit is what he said. This is love. And it is. It's love. You know, it is love when someone tells you about yourself. You know what I mean? That's love because you might have needed to hear it. You know, not everything's going to be smooth in this truth. Not, you know, there's a bitter and a sweet. OK, and a lot of people like to cleave onto the, the sweet, but never really want to take a hold of, of, of the bitter, which is accountability. You know, you have to be accountable for your steps in this truth. You know, so you reprove one that hath understanding and he will understand knowledge. So, you know, you approve someone who, who understands, hey, he's going to gain the more. And that's what we want to be, you know. And, and when we have um, elders and, and, and uh, apostles and elders speak, you know, camp leaders and stuff speak, then, hey, you know, you got to listen, you know. And this is the spirit, you know, because, uh, you know, this is the year of the turn up. So we got to be aware. We got to be aware, man, because... You know, we can't be foolish, you know, we, we, we can't be careless, you know, we have to be wise about our moves in this, in this knowledge, you know, you don't want to run in vain. And in the end, um, you know, you know, not, not, you know, you missed the mark, you know, let's get this. This is second Corinthians 13 and five, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Yeah, you got to examine yourself. You got to scrutinize yourself. OK, you really got to check yourself and, and, and see, are you in the faith? Are you doing what is commanded in these scriptures? These scriptures are not something you can wing. It's not something you can just overlook and be like, well, you know, the Lord's going to have grace. I'm in the truth. I know the names. I know this, that and the third. The scripture, you know, the scriptures say for many are called, but few are chosen. So you have to examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. You don't have to prove it to the next man. You got to prove it to yourself. Know ye not your own selves. You have to know yourself. You have to know that what you're doing, if it's according to the faith or not. It says how that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Right. You have to know, is the spirit of the Lord working with me? Or am I just a reprobate? And that's a scary. Um, that's a scary examination, but nonetheless, it has to be done. It says, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Okay. So, you know, Apostle Paul saying, you know, he, you know, to the Corinthians, man, I trust that you shall know that, you know, hey, we're the disciples of Hamashiach Yahweh are not reprobates. Okay. It says, continuing on. Now, I pray to the Most High that ye do no evil. Okay. We, we, we must not do evil. It says, not that we should appear approved. But that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. Right. So we don't need 
really no approval, you know, but do that which is honest, okay? Have integrity. Even the brother from London, uh, he did a video on integrity, which is, that was another video that you had to sit back and just listen, you know? It says, but that you should do that, which is honest. You, you, you don't need no validation from nobody. Just do what is honest. You don't need, you know, don't try hard. Just do your best. Do your lot, you know, do, you know, you know, this truth to the best of your ability, according to your measure of faith. It says, though we be as reprobates, okay? Because sometimes you're going to make mistakes. You're going to miscarry this truth. It's going to be like, man, this dude, you know what I'm saying? It just, unfortunately, it's like that. We are in these chains of darkness. But there's going to be a distinction between People of integrity, brothers of integrity, sisters of integrity, and others that are reprobates, others that are just, they don't see themselves capable of doing any wrong, okay? Like like case in point, this dude Tazariak, this dude um, saying, you know, them saying that you could get the, uh, um, the juice. You know, that's just, that's not of integrity. That's reprobate. You know, saying that John the Baptist was not in the truth. That's reprobate. You see? So there's going to be a difference. You see? This is the book of uh, Luke 14 and 28. You know? Uh, let me start at 27. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Okay, you have to bear your cross every day. Every day you have to bear your cross. Like how wish I had to bear had to bear his cross onto the way of his own crucifixion. So do we. We have to bear our cross. Okay. We have to bear the punishments. We have to bear the shame. We have to bear the chastisements that we go through. The brother uh, Barack was, you know, essentially he was going into that. You know, you have to, um, you know, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with it, move forward. You got to always constantly do what is right. Okay. Take your, take your L's, take your chastisement and continue to walk. Cause you know, you know, it's not going to be easy. You know, you will slip. You know, we always say that. We always leave room open, okay? You know, because, you know, we're in the time of grace. And the Spirit had it to where a lot of a lot of those uh, videos have been going out too, man. You know, we're not under the law. We're not being judged under that law. But yet, you know, we don't make void the law. We establish, okay? We establish the, the commandments. We do the commandments, man. It says that whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So you have to bear your cross. Let's look at this word cross. Right. What does it say here at the top? A well-known instrument of most cruel and ignominious punishment. All right, man. You gotta bear your punishments, man. You know, you gotta you, even unto the death, you have to you have to complete your mission. So it says, For which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counted the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it, you know. So you, you gotta count the cost, whether you have sufficient to finish it. You know, you, you gotta you gotta examine yourself and say, Hey, am I really in the truth? You know, can I really endure into the end? And these are things that you have to ask yourself, you know. Including myself, man. I ask myself these things all the time. You know, it says, less happily after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. You see? After you lay the foundation, after you start, you're not able to finish. And all those that see, they begin to mock you. They begin to make fun of you. Why? Because ultimately you're not part of the righteous. And anyone who slips from the truth and errs from the way you you're you're not mocking 
the messengers of the Lord. You're not mocking the elect. You're going to be made a mockery of. Let's get that straight. Now, this guy at the bottom right here, Seer of Amos 777. Okay, what, what seems to be a volcano. You see this video right here? This dude used to come out and listen to us. Great Millstone, Arizona. All right? And when he put Great Millstone on his page and a brother told him not to. And that's it. That's all it took for him to leave off from listening to us. And, and he somehow went and linked up with the, the ex, the former camp head of Great Millstone, Arizona. And now is teaching a reprobate, bugged out doctrine. This guy has but two years, maybe, at the most, in the truth, and has a, a personal vendetta against the apostles. The apostles ain't never done nothing to him. But this guy is led away, okay, by the former camp head, okay, that was casted out for wrong for many wrongdoings. Okay, and, and, and listen to him, his you know, his pernicious ways, and now he's uh following into destruction with them. So you see, you know, these guys, they, they, they get mocked. The joke's on them. It ain't, and it's not, the joke's not on, on, on the brothers in, 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 in the truth who are, who are really pushing the word in truth and sincerity. The word, the joke is on those who are in the truth and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. The joke's on them. You know, get that clear. You know, you, you don't you don't laugh at anybody. You, you know, you're going to get laughed at. The joke's really on those who are not in the truth. <sighs> Saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. You see, and if he ever left anything halfway done, you know, somebody will look at him and be like, huh, look at that. That's not they didn't finish that. It's It's funny. You know what I'm saying? If you ever seen anything halfway done, you'd be like, huh, that's funny. It's not done yet. You see, it's not finished. Why, why couldn't you finish that? And Jake starts mocking you, and that's just the way it is in the knowledge. That's the how about Shimei Shai putting the spirit, uh, okay, and chastening, uh, uh, and speaking to you with his sore displeasure through men. So it says, 31, or what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consulteth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. Okay. And we're at war. The brother Barack was going into that. Okay. We are at a war. It's not, there's no time for, uh, you know, being weak, you know what I'm saying? And just having that, you know, that, that spirit of just of doubt and whatever you want to call it, man, you know, we deal with it. Shit. I, I'd be the first one to tell you that I'd be dealing with that, man. Do I like it? No, not at, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so these videos are good for you. These, you know what I'm saying? These videos, man, and I'm going to say, man, when you watch videos like this, especially that Brother Barack, you can't sit, you can't help but just listen like, okay. You know, because they're exhortations. They, 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 they move you. They move you to get things done, you know. We're out of war. And you have to be able to go against the masses, man, because it's ultimately the elect against the world. Okay, the elect in Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, and the angels against the world, really. But that's the hey, We know who's going to win that battle. Okay, but moving on, it says. One second. First Peter five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant. Be sober. To be sober, to be calm and collected in spirit, to be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect. Yeah, you gotta be sober, man. You gotta be calm and collected in the spirit. You know? To be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect. You gotta be looking around. You gotta be watching. You gotta be calm. Okay? And seeing, you know, peeping the scene, looking around you, you know, watching your surrounding, watching everything that goes on. Don't let nothing pass you, you know, eyes open. You got to pray for that discernment, you know, for a calm spirit, man. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You see, your adversary, the devil, 
Okay, as a roaring lion walketh about seeing whom he may devour. Okay, Diablos. Okay, you know, Satan. The Satan comes in many forms. The scriptures speak about the wiles of the devilry, the trickery, the tricks. It could be anything, it could be fame, you know, money. You know, it could be a, um, the pride demon. You know, it could be a, a shoot, laziness. Oh, the deep demon. You know, thinking you're deep. You know, thinking this means this and this means that. And the apostles that, that you know, you got, you, you know, a woman. Yeah, a woman. You know what I'm saying? A woman could come into your life and just pull you right out the truth. You know, stop you from being uh, diligent. You know what I'm saying? It says, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Man, we have to be vigilant, man. I'm, I say we because, you know, thoughts, different afflictions arise, different tribulations, persecutions, and you don't want to be offended. You know, we don't want to be offended. You know, that's why we're prisoners of hope. That's why this is a fight. That's why we're in these chains of darkness, because the Lord subjected us to hope, you know. The Lord wanted it this way, but the elect will overcome, okay. It says, whom resist steadfast in the faith. You got to resist the devil. You got to resist Satan. You got to pray. Pray to the Heavenly Father for, for weaknesses, for things that you, you need help in, because we all need help in something. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world, you see. So, yeah, you know, know that, the you know, you're not the only one. There's other brothers, there's other sisters going through things, other members of the body. There's believers that are out there going through the same thing as you. You're not alone. We're all getting through things, fighting through things, uh, realizing things, examining things about ourselves, you know, working on them. You see, this is a... Uh, going on with this this is first peter 4 and 12 let no man despise thy youth okay so if you're a younger brother hey you know take heed you know i myself am taking heed oh let's get 11 these things command and teach let no man despise thy youth but be thou an example of the believers in word in conversation in charity in spirit in faith in purity you know, we came into this thing to put off the old man. We came into this thing to grow and elevate, not to be that same old dude from the world. OK, trying to bring that in the truth and, and all the elements of the the beggarly elements of the world, all the, the philosophies and doctrines and characteristics of the world into the true. No. OK, in faith, in purity, till I come, give attendance to reading to exhortation, to doctrine, neglect not the gift that is in thee. Okay, you got to study, you got to read. Neglect not this, the, you know, your, your portion, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying of the hands of the presbytery, right? The elders gave you, the, you know, gave you this truth. You came in through the apostles. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting, that thy profiting may appear to all. Right, you got you to gotta meditate, man. Meditate on the word. Meditate on the things that you've been taught. Meditate on these videos. Don't just don't just for the sake of of oh, I I watch the videos today. No, meditate on what's been said. Think about it. Think about what brothers been saying. Think about what the apostles and the elders and brothers be be you know. These exhortations, these videos. Right, take heed unto thyself. Take heed unto thyself. We gotta take heed to ourselves, man. It's not about looking at what the next man's doing. Well, they're not doing. Hey, man, shit. You know the scriptures say not all not not all Israel is Israel. You got to seek this thing out for yourself. Okay, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou might thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay, so the power is going to be with you. The 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 true power, the Holy Spirit is going to be with you to break down the truth. Okay, if you continue in it, and you're going to save those. That listen, you're gonna you you know you you're gonna put people on the right path. You're here to gather fruit. You're you're here to teach the word 
of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to open up his, his, you know, to announce his second coming. And in turn, you get salvation for that work. You know, dividing this truth rightly. This is a uh, Second Peter three and seventeen. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. So, yeah, we have to beware. You know, brothers that are in this truth. All right, and hey, we got to beware. You see, lest that we be led away with the error of the wicked. That we be led away with, you know, your. Uh, you know, the co the, uh, what do you say? With the error of the wicked, you know, other people, the company that you keep, you know, the wicked Esau, Edom and their, uh, you know, envy, not the oppressor, choose none of his ways, wanting to be worldly, thinking you could just dip into the world every now and then. Nah. Okay. Beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness, right? You see the, the, the wicked error and two thirds of our people are wicked. You see them error and what do you want to you, you You fall from your steadfastness by by emulating them. OK, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Now, let me run that back. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay, you have to a hey, grow in the grace and the knowledge. As you as you get older, you have to grow in the grace. You have to move more graceful. Okay, you have to be more knowledgeable, more seasoned. This is what we're supposed to uh, uh, aspire to be. Okay, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Or so be true. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom.